And this is a test that I wanted to do with the new Mavic Air. So on the left hand side of the screen you have the uh, video capture straight from the iPad and on the right hand side is the raw video from the Mavic Air. So I wanted to do a range test as well as see just how clear the video uh, feed looks while you're out flying and what it actually looks like if you were to look at the recorded data. Now one thing that you do want to note here is if you are doing a range test is you'll go into your general settings here and you're going to want to make sure that you change the max distance uh, and also enable that basically because otherwise you'll get to a certain you know distance and the drone will say that it has reached its maximum distance and that you need to adjust it in the settings. So anyway, I've fast forwarded uh, the data here and so that's why it looks like we're going pretty fast but not too much was kind of going on in the meantime. But you can see we're going through here, we're 2,000 feet now and the video feed looks okay. Um, a few kind of weird glitches and everything uh, popped up and although the iPad would quickly catch up with itself, it still sort of had a, again, laggy feedback and video uh, displayed on the screen. Now there is a lot of kind of feedback and negative opinions from people talking about the range of the new Mavic Air as well as the video feed. Um, and I do kind of have to agree with the fact that the video feed really isn't all that clear, especially when you switch over and you start flying at the, you know, the Mavic uh, versus the Mavic Air. And I mean, even here you can see we're at 3,700 feet and we're running into issues with the remote controller as far as disconnecting and uh, actual video feed lag. Now, when I did this test, I was sitting on a rock and I tried to keep the remote uh, pointed in the same direction constantly. So I was sitting there, I wasn't moving around. Um, so I was trying to give it the best opportunity that it could for max distance. Now, this is where we hit the uh, you know transmission failure as well as uh, signaling return to home. And at first I was kind of disappointed that it didn't go further. But when I started thinking about it, I mean, DJI claims four kilometers and you figure in real world environments, you're probably getting close to half that. So we still came in less than half of what DJI claimed that the Mavic Air distance would reach. But realistically, most of the time, you're not going to be flying that much further than you know, a few hundred feet. Now, of course, there's plenty of us out there who are doing long stuff or you're trying to get a whole canyon or mountain or something like that. So obviously with that, you will be flying further away. But for the average consumer, I'd say most of us are, are staying relatively close. Um, and again, I mean, when you look at the video feed versus the actual video being captured by the Mavic Air, there is a difference. Um, you definitely notice it when you're out flying and you'll have difficulty making out details. But overall, everything uh, still works pretty well. It just, if you compare it side by side, it looks bad. Or if you compare it directly to the Mavic, it doesn't look as good.